Hi, my name is Sara Preciado. I am ESR in the Interfaces Project. My affiliation is with the industry partner and um, Advanced Membrane Technologies, uh, and also with the academic institution Complutense University of Madrid, uh, where I am PhD student. Uh, one of my main research Interest is on the development of carbon dioxide capture uh, and revalorization. Um, I have the pleasure to introduce you uh, to Dr. Jonas Grauskis, who is the CEO of ANM and company. Um, Dr. Jonas Grauskis is, has more than 20 years of experience. Uh, in on processing of solid oxides um, for the design and fabrication of ceramic structures, applied in different fields. He is a former senior researcher at Technical University of Denmark and current RIT senior researcher at ICMA, Aragon Material Science Institute, a uh, place in Saragossa, Spain. So, hello, Dr. Jonas. Hi, everyone. It's <laughs> a real pleasure to meet you, Sarah, and to have you here working with us. Oh, thank you very much. So, can you tell us more about uh, your work in IMM? I mean, uh, NEM as a company was founded uh, back in Denmark some 2015, when we even decided what we need to provide, like, kind of fast reply. Uh, to the demands of industry when we need, or the industry of universities, independently of what kind of a body, but when we need to uh, kind of uh, membranes, a specific type of membranes for separation, catalysis functions, and et cetera, et cetera. So we decided to work on this and uh, have a broad line of products uh, available for our clients. <laughs> we can work on attractual projects and uh, depending on my client needs and we're providing highly uh, functionalized uh, materials uh, based on solid oxides, uh, traditionally tradition called uh, technical ceramics. I want to know how can ceramic support contribute to improve uh, biocatalytical processes? I mean, uh, the main uh, kind of uh, aspect why we're considering with kind of highly beneficial for biocatalytic reactions is that the inner inertness, let's say, of these uh, solid oxide structures. And uh, if we don't want interaction with our media, we will not have that interaction, which not happens if we use different kind of metallic-based supports or polymeric uh, materials. Uh, in that um, point, how can be ceramic membranes used to achieve more um, green and sustainable chemical processes? And this is the point. I mean, when we start kind of uh, with some catalytic reactions or something, first we need to put our system kind of can be reused um, multiple times. And that's where the driving force for our work is, let's say, to provide uh, some uh, basis, let's say, as catalyst uh, supports for my catalysts, uh, which we need to answer, which can be reused uh, uh, many, many, many times. It's not like use and throw, uh, you know, uh, approach. It's more like we will reuse it n times. It can be 10, 100 times because um, the good thing about these uh, solid oxide materials and as you call it, ceramics, is that we don't change over time. We use no um, variation in way, uh, properties, nor chemistry, nor structural appearance. In that line, so what are the future trends in advanced catalyst colors based on solid oxides? Or okay, okay. Um, I mean, the main problem here, look, okay, uh, how we achieve a like, uh, huge surface area and at the same time, we maintain, let's say, uh, high permeability. 
Uh, so it's like two contradictory properties, and that's why we're working a lot. But to, to make a highly hierarchical porosity, which kind of uh, contributes to achieve high surface areas, at the same time maintaining high permeability for mass flow for reactants and uh, reactant uh, products, let's say, to, to remove from our catalytic uh, supports. In which situation do you consider um, the enzymes immobilization as an opportunity to develop new catalyst carriers? I mean, these new catalyst carriers, they can work in, in multiple applications, let's say, you name it, let's say, in different type of, as, as in your case, we're working with uh, CO2 absorption and revalorization, let's say, capture and uh, added value product generation. So, uh, and it can be uh, used in multiple, let's say, not pharma, and all these kind of apps can be used because we have to remember that uh, uh, both, let's say, uh, biocatalysis is already kind of advancing a lot, and every year we have different catal catalytic materials working uh, in more efficient way. Uh, and we are kind of catching up with uh, coming back for, uh, with, uh, with our supports, which are meant for that application, let's say. So uh, uh, that should work better. So, but um, in the technical aspects or uh, the, um, is it economically viable uh, to scale up uh, the biocatalytic processes using ceramic catalyst carriers? Uh, how do you, do you get a balance between profit and cost? I mean, it's very simple to, to talk about profit and cost when it comes to solid excite materials because, okay, in a lab scale, when you're asking for like small batch of materials, it can be elevated price. But imagine what, let's say, one ton of aluminum oxide, which is uh, kind of almost traditional technical ceramic material used for uh, inorganic scaffold fabrication, costs like, say, 10 euros. So it depends, uh, um, I mean, and it's huge uh, uh, kind of market already available for technical ceramics and everything. Everyone is using it, but we just don't see it in real life, like uh, straightforward materials which are produced using these materials. So, I mean, uh, we don't care too much. We are not worried about, let's say, a price or when it comes. The main question here, how we can achieve these structures and uh, what's the processing routes to achieve these benef highly beneficial techniques uh, um, and et cetera, et cetera. Because you see, a uh, uh, confirmation, let's say, how you give this shape it should be kept to the to the cost as the minimal because as, raw ma as I said, you, the raw material is very cheap in comparison for, let's say, for different materials, let's say, even metallic faces. And uh, we are in favor uh, for because it's cheaper. Essentially, just because of this. Thank you very much. I have um, an idea now uh, what is all this company about and the um, importance of the development of, of the ceramic membranes for biocatalytic mm -hmm. processes. Okay, that's Thank a pleasure. Know. That's a pleasure.